would really love to welcome all of you. Then how are you all? All are fine well. Okay. The last week we are discussed about what we have learned. One digit numbers, two digit numbers, three digit numbers. What is the first three digit number? How to get? Then this the first three digit number is 100. The 99 plus 1 equal to 100. Do you know what is the spelling of 100? So number name of 100. What is? H-U-N H-U-N-D-R-E-D H-U-N-D-R-E-D Okay. Then I will say something. Then one student, Adira, the name of her, Adira. Adira, Adira has 101 rupee coin. How much rupee? Adira has 101 rupee coin. Adira has 101 rupee coin. How much? 101 rupee coin. 1 rupee coins. She arranged these coins in group of 10. That is, she arranged the, these coins in group of 10. Okay. Then, Adira has 100 rupees, 101 rupee coins. She arranged these coins in groups of 10. Groups of 10. Then, last video... Uh, Miss asked one question. How many tens in 100? How many tens in 100? Do you know? Do you remember that question? How many tens in 100? See. Ten tens in 100. How many tens? Ten tens in 100. Okay. We already studied what? One ten ten. 1, 10, 10. You study this, okay? Then you should study this. Uh, 1, 10, 10. 1, 10, 10. 1, 10, 10. 2, 10. So, 10 plus 10. This is 2, 10. 2, 10, 20. 3, 10. 10 plus 10 plus 10. 3, 10. What is? 3, 10. 30. Next. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. How many tens are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 tens. 4 tens. 40. Next. 5 tens. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. 5 tens. 5 tens. 5 tens, 50. Okay. Then next 6 tens, 60. 7 tens, 70. 8 tens, 80. 9 tens, 90. 10 tens, what? 100. Once again, 10 tens, 100. Okay. 1 ten, 10, 2 tens, 20. 3 tens, 30. 4 tens 40, 5 tens 50. Okay, my dear children, I will repeat. What a 1 ten 10, 2 tens 20, 3 tens 30, 4 tens 40, 5 tens 50, 6 tens 60, 7 tens 70, 8 tens 80, 9 tens 90, 10 tens 100. What is 10 tens 100? We already discussed Adira as 101 rupee coin. 101 rupee coin. She will make uh, these 1 rupee coins and groups of 10. Then how many groups will get? Adira will get how many groups? 101 rupee coins. 101 rupees coin we will arrange. How many groups? 10 groups. What is 10 groups? Because what are 
10 10 is equal to 100. Then one group has how many one rupee coin? 10 one rupee coin. How many? 10. How many groups? One group has one group has 10 one rupee coin. 10 one rupee coin. Adira makes Adira makes what? 10 one rupee coins. Adira makes 10 group. 10 groups. Each group has 10 one rupee coins. Understood? Once again I repeat. Adira has 100 one rupee coins. 100 one rupee coins. She want to make a 10 groups. She want to make a 10 groups. Because 10 10 is equal to 100. 10 10 is equal to 100. So, one group has how many 1 rupee coin? 10 1 rupee coin. Then each group has 10 1 rupee coin. She will make 10 groups and she got what? 100. Because 10 10 is equal to 100. Understood all? Okay. You will take what? 100 stone or 100 sticks. Then you have make 10 each group has 10 stone or 10 uh, sticks. Then you will get what? You will get the 10 group and each group has 10 sticks or 10 stones. Understand? First you collect 100, 100 stones or sticks. Then you make 10 groups. Each group has 10 sticks or 10 stones. Then you will get how many groups? 10 groups. The total number of stones or sticks what? 100. Okay. You should do that activity. Okay. Then after we will discuss our Google Meet time. Okay. Okay. Then we will continue the three digit number 100. Then when we add 1 to 100, we will get what? 101. Okay. Next step. 100 plus 2. What will get there? It become 102. Then 100 plus 3. Then it become 103. Then when we add 100 plus 4. 104. 100 plus 5. 105. Okay. Then 100 plus 6, 106. 100 plus 7, 107. 100 plus 8, 108. 100 plus 9, 109. Last 100 plus 10, what is 100 plus 10. Once again I read 100 plus 1, 101. 100 plus 2, 102. 100 plus 3, 103. 100 plus 4, 104. 100 plus 5, 105. 100 plus 6, 106. 100 plus 7, 107. 100 plus 8, 108, 100 plus 9, 109, 100 plus 10, 110. This is the same activity is given in your test book. First of all, you watch this, you study this one, then you open your max test book and do that activity. Okay, some, some hundreds, nodes and some coins are given. Then next sides are right, 100 plus 1, 101. One or two examples are given. So, first you study this, then you should complete your test book. Okay, then 101 equal to 101. 100 plus 1 equal to 101. 100 plus 2 equal to 102. 100 plus 3 equal to 103. 100 plus 4 equal to 104 is become 100 plus 10 equal to 
110. Then you do your, to open your maths note, test book and do that activity. Okay, understood this sir. Okay, then last, now we are discussing the 100 plus 1, 101. Then last 110 plus, 100 plus 10 equal to 110. Then I will ask one question. Can you read the third three digit number? Can you read the three digit number? First we have learned what? 100. 100 is the first yeah? three digit number. All of you read this. Can you read this number? This is 100. That is 100. You read this number. 101. 101. Next one. Next one. I will write one number, you can read. Can you read this number? Read this number. Already two digit number you can read. Like, two digit number you can read. All of you know that. Okay. Then what is this? Sir? Two digit number you can read. This is the three digit number. This is the three digit number. How to read this number? How to how do you read this number? Read this number. 132. Then we add first digit with 100. First digit with 100. And then you read this three digit number. 132. 132. Then read this number. 145. 145. Then how to read this number? 245. Then you can read first digit with 100. Then last two digit you read together. How to read the two digit number? That way you can read the last two digit number. Okay. 245. Then how to read this number? 300. H means what? 100. The short form of 100 is H. Which is the short form of 100. Our first digit with 100. The last two digit. How to read your, the two digit number. That way you can read these two digits. Okay. 380. 380. How to read this number? 409. 409. Got it. Okay. Are you follow me? Okay, then first what first you do one thing, you take your max notebook and write some three digit number, five or six three digit number, then you can read one by one. Okay, after that activity you will you will read this three digit number easily. First of all, you have to take the max notebook and write a five or six three digit number, then you can read one by one. Understood. Once again I read 100, 101, 132, 145, 409, 380, 245. Okay, understood. Okay. Then next one is fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. This way you can read the all three digit numbers. 100 to 909. Three digit numbers are 100 to 999. Okay. Then fill in the blanks. I will write two questions. 132, 133, 136. Next second question. 670. 73. Okay. Then you say this. Uh, what's the uh, next numbers? 100. Read first number. 132. 133. What is the next number? 132. Last digit you. Look at the last digit. This is 32. 132. Next. 133. 32. 33. What is the next number you think about the uh, two digit numbers? 132, 133, 
What is the next step? Yes. 134, 135. Understood. Next step. 670. 670. Then you check the last two digit number. 70. What is the next number? Two digit number. You recall the two digit number. 70. What is the next number? Yes, 71. So we can write 670. Next one. 671. What is the next number? 672. 673 is already given. The next water 674. Okay, understood. Then, first of all, you read the given numbers and write the missing numbers. Understood. Okay, my dear children, we will wind up our class. The today we are discussed what uh, three digit numbers, then how to form 101, 102, like that. Then, Next year, we are studying 1, 10, 10, 2, 10, 20. Last year, this can 10, 10, 100. What is 10, 10, 100? Now, we are discussing how to read the, how do you read the, how to read the three digit numbers. Okay. Then, last one, fill in the blanks. You are, you are everything you are understood. Then if you have any doubt, you ask me personally. Okay. Okay, my dear children. Bye. See you later.